Rated PG-13, exclusively on Apple TV+. Millions are gonna know your name. Got Talent, Tuesday on NBC. You have to attack it like it's the last moment you get. Every duel will be amazing. And every judge will be out of their seat. World of Dance, Tuesday on NBC. Stick around later for The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon, at home edition. Tonight. We're on air tonight with breaking news. Gunfire erupts across our area. Six people shot in 90 minutes. We're live with the search for the suspects. Plus, remembering a shining star, a Charlotte Country Day graduate dies unexpectedly. Tonight, her friends and family remembering her remarkable life. And later, military funeral backlog. The men and women who served our country laid to rest alone without military honors. It's Thursday, July 9th. WCNC Charlotte News at 11 starts right now. We begin with that breaking news. One person is dead. Five others rushed to the hospital after three shootings in Charlotte. Thank you for staying up with us tonight, everybody. I'm Sarah French. And I'm Fred Shropshire. The first shooting near the 1100 block of Coliseum Drive in East Charlotte. Then a little more than an hour later, another shooting in the 10,000 block of University City Boulevard. And later, another victim showing up at the hospital from a separate shooting. Hunter Sines joins us from police headquarters with the search for the suspects. Hunter. Fred and Sarah, six people shot. One of them died here, yet alone tonight in the city of Charlotte. That now brings the total amount of homicides so far this year to 56. We are right on track with last year. And like so many of the shootings we see here in the Queen City, one of them tonight stemmed from an argument inside a store. Another deadly afternoon in the Queen City. This is just another example of the senseless violence that we're seeing in our neighborhoods. First, shots ringing out near Bojangles Coliseum, outside an apartment complex on the 1100 block of Coliseum Drive. Two men shot, one of them dead on the scene, the other transported to an area hospital expected to survive. We do not have any suspect information at the time. Officers highly concerned about bullets flying in an area with so many kids and families. And creates uh, additional inherent danger when we have people that are shooting guns uh, in neighborhoods that have children running around. Then, just over an hour later, gunfire erupted outside this family dollar off University Boulevard, less than a mile from UNC Charlotte. Ah, uh, this is too close to school. We're really close to school. Those who live in the area rattled by the scene as they tried going shopping. Yeah, you can't even go to family dollar without something popping off like that. That's ridiculous. According to investigators, two groups Groups got into a heated argument inside the store. A witness tells us it was an argument about cutting in line. They continued to argue outside and then a shootout. Officers say three people were shot. All of them are expected to survive. They really don't care about anybody. They only care about themselves. And police say they are not looking for a suspect in the University City shooting. Now, at this hour, CMPD tells me both of these shootings are under investigation. A sixth person showed up on his or her own at a local hospital with a gunshot wound, but investigators say they do not know where that person was shot. Live outside CMPD headquarters, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte. Hunter, thank you. When breaking news happens, we always send out a push alert for our mobile app. You can download it at your Google Play or iTunes App Store. All new at 11, energetic, enthusiastic, and vivacious. Those are just a few words used to describe 21-year-old Sally Saz. She's a Charlotte native and UNC Chapel Hill scholar whose life was tragically cut short while hiking out of state. Tonight, WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper spoke to those closest to her who say they're now left to celebrate her gift for art and passion for life, even in spite of her passing. I got fan mail about Sally wherever she went. At just 21 years old, family and friends say Sally says managed to share a lot of love and a lot of light. And she did much of that through art. Even more than um, ambition for her, it was true passion. I think her interest in art was it just really consumed her. Sass was first a standout student and athlete at Charlotte Country Day School before going on to attend UNC Chapel 